Hi friends, guess where we're at? <laughs> we're right here. Remember these trees we took out? Um, I'm just doing a little video here. There was a, a couple people in the comment section, they thought I might have smashed this maple tree to pieces. Somebody said you, you, you actually smashed the maple tree. You, you didn't, they said, you, you didn't miss the maple tree, you smashed it. Friends, I look at you with a straight face, right in your face, saying that we didn't even touch it. We brushed it. We did, we brushed it. Look at this. There's not one broken twig on this tree, nothing. You'll see no fractures, no, not even out in the twigs, nothing, friends. Like nothing, even zero. There's no peeling branches, no broken. Friends, it was a judgment call and I nailed it. What can I say? Um, it, it, as you can see from this angle, it looks like we, we hit something, but, but we didn't. There was a nice little hole looking behind the crown here, right there. And that limb came like right down here. It was... A... Uh, or whatever you call that. Here's this top. Let's measure this top. Yeah, I'm gonna measure this top. This is a tall top. Wow. Let's see if we got enough juice left. Sonny, I'm gonna come to here. Okay. Gra grab the tip for me. Let's measure this top. Oh, we're at 50 foot. We're, we're, this is an 80 foot top. There's 50 feet right there. 50 foot's right here, Sonny. Bring the, bring it in. Maybe I'll just hold on to it. Right on my foot. No, right on my foot. 50 foot, right there. Right there, okay? Now we go up the end of the log here and see what we got. It went, oh, it's, no, it's more than that. Here's the top, but it actually ended up. See, here's, here's a four inch top right there, broken. So it actually ended up, I remember seeing it, I flicked it off, it was right here. We're at, son, this was a 90 foot top. 90 feet. Okay, look at friends, where's the tape? Right there, there's 39 feet right there. That top came to there, there's the four, you guys remember, it was a 90 footer. <laughs> That's tall, it came right up here. Remember the little pedal bike I moved? Hey. Yes, he does have a big U. I didn't think it was 90, son. I thought 80. That was a nice uh, sized piece of wood. And again, friends, here's our, uh, I'm surprised I'm getting this video. Here's our maple. Hey, good morning, friends. Just nibbling on some niblets here. I just doing this video, and and you you all know me uh, pretty good now. Uh, not not a big justifier of my uh, existence. I do what I do, and I hope you do the same. Um, but you know, I I kind of I'm a human being, and you know, ninety nine percent of the time, it's water off a duck's back. You know, but, you know, we, sometimes you, you just, the humanness comes out of you. And you, and you, the truth is the truth, friends. The truth shall set, so it's that old saying, the truth shall set you free. There's nothing truer than that statement. So I just wanted to recap this. Um, there was a, 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 I don't know what you would call it, a, a, a bit of stuff in the, in the comment section, because this video got pulled by, uh, shown all over the place. It's only been up for whatever the hell it's been up for, three weeks, and it's got like, 
it, it's creeping up on a million views. I think it's got 600,000 views. That's crazy for me. Um, so, of course, it, it gets attention from quite a few different folks. And, and there was a few that, that thought I crushed um, the, the maple. So I, I just wanted to, to show this and really get in there and show you that that lovely, because there's people that love trees on this channel. And I want folks to know that this maple tree is pristine. So I just wanted to go by and do that. And I wanted to actually measure that top too. Anyways, I'm playing around on this filing thing I did to myself. There, now I can see. So Harvey, the iron horse, told me 45, 45, 45, which means 45, 45, and 45. I like that. That's I can understand that. I know what a ground chain's supposed to look like. I, I just know what it's supposed to look like. Now, whether it'll turn out like that, we're gonna have a look. I got a pretty good feeling about that. I just do. Indeed I do. Yeah. Very cool. Um, I, I don't see how you could get it as good as a machine. I, I just don't. Iron Horse, of course, he's old school. He's going to say, oh, yes, you can, Buck and Billy Ray. <laughs> Aren't you, Harv? Of course you are. But, uh, gosh, you'd have to be pretty darn good at it. But I see. I, I, I can see I, looking at the file. I see what's supposed to happen, no doubt about it, but you can't have no top beak, top beaks don't cut, top beaks don't cut. So, and you know what I thought about for the other side, I thought about just going against it, you, do you know what I mean? Because you can actually see. Like, do you know what I'm saying, friends? I just yeah. Let's let's take a look and see what happens here. There we go. It'll be interesting. Okay. Oh, I guess we gotta. Cause it uh, it allows me to stay on, right? It's coming up sharp, friends. We'll take a look at it with the with the maybe the eye in the sky in a minute or two here. But so straight, forty five. 45 and 45. Because you don't want to... Friends, I think I'm getting somewhere. I, I'm, not, I'm not joking you. I'm not going to give up. Might be a little loose to do this. I can see the, how the edges of the file where they're supposed to go. Do you know what I mean, friends? Like I can I can see where it's supposed to go, and it's uh oh yeah, it, it, it's looking like a ground chain. You're damn right it is. This one, I just wanna. Yeah, there. I think Hogan's coming home with some. Uh... 
Let's take a look at this. This is interesting. Huh. I got to be honest. This is really neat. I'm, I'm getting this side quite nice. I don't know how the other side's gonna work. But it actually looks like a ground chain. It's just a little more, more of a side beak than I want. I'll get it, it'll come. This is like my third time doing it, friends. Seriously, this is it, my third time. So I just got to get that corner. Closer like that. Yeah. I'll bet you that's. I'll bet you that's more like it right there. Yeah, it is. I can feel it start to go through nice, friends. This will be, this will be actually be interesting. Back in a flash. There we go. That's it. Now, now this is actually quite interesting. Very interesting. I don't have my raker gauge because I got my other suspenders on. So I will go get my raker gauge. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I can use the same file now, but I'm gonna use the hardwood setting. Interesting. Maybe I should use the soft, but Hogan's already got it. Yeah, I'll use soft. Wow, what a difference on the softwood setting. Holy cow. Okay, friends. More importantly, I just, uh, we're heading out for the day. We're going on an adventure, me and my boy. We're going up to see Cody, the axe handle maker. He lives on Vancouver Island. Uh, I, I first heard about him on, uh, I forget the guy's name's, um, a website or, or YouTube channel. It's some bushcraft fella, but he, he's the guy behind Lamica Axes. It's three fellas. A crazy guy who actually forged, hand forges axes for, I believe, one of the major, major dudes in axes in forging. Uh, that sounded silly. I know it did, but but I, I the name escapes me right now, but he was a big axe guy. And he was one of his forgers, one of his blacksmiths. So the guy's the guy's great. And he was so this guy was talking about this on the YouTube channel. And he says, Yeah, and we're we got a guy in Vancouver Island, British Columbia making handles. And I went, Pardon me. I said, Pardon. <laughs> so he drives up my driveway the other day. We hooked up. Killinger helped that out. Killinger, I love you, brother. Um, do you know that me and Killinger didn't even talk at Buck and Stock? We were so concerned with we barely spoke. Talk about dedication, eh? Killer's a good man. Uh, I'm going to see Killer. You guys will see me at Killer's place. He's got a beautiful piece of property cutting timber. We're gonna. Uh, 
we're leaving. We're leaving the house right now. Me and the boy are going to... I just wanted to get you out a little video. So I see if I can get this out. And we're going to video this whole thing today. He's got a, a lathe up there, like an actual... Uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. I hope you're excited about it as I am. Probably not. But I'm going to bring a couple of my goodies up. I'm going to bring in a couple... You know, it's Axe, guys. We're nerdy as hell. You know what I'm talking about, friends? Yeah, I know you do. Love you all. Be kind to one another. And get excited about life.